Welcome back to New England Patriots today by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show, we're talking all about Marcus Peters. Could the former member of the Baltimore Ravens be joining the New England Patriots and signing with the team to fill a much needed position at core? We'll discuss and look into the possibility coming up in just a few moments. Before we do, this offseason's been pretty interesting for the Patriots, right? And you look at the rest of the division. The Bills, pretty good. The Jets, still waiting on Aaron Rodgers. And then there's the Miami Dolphins in their situation. They've gotten better as well. It's an arms race in this division. How do you think the Patriots have fared putting their roster compared to the rest of the division? How would you grade what they've done with their moves so far? Tell me in the comment section, A, B, C, D, or F, how you feel what the Patriots have done to this point. We'll get started with today's show. Marcus Peters, should the Patriots consider signing him in free agency? Marcus Peters has had a pretty good career. I know that he's had some injuries, and there have been some conflicts at times. Going back to his days in Kansas City, he and Andy Reid didn't necessarily see eye to eye, but you can't deny the talent and how productive his career has been. Uh, whether he was with the Ravens or the Chiefs, Rams, he has been very good at all three stops in his football career, including three Pro Bowls in 2015, 2016, and 2019. And he was the NFL's Defensive Rookie of the Year back in 2015. Now, I think we all sit here and it's safe to say that Marcus Peters, his, his prime is over. But when he's healthy, and that's a big if too, um, he's still a, a decent corner. Okay, and this is not your lockdown type. This is the corner that you're going to be looking at of being the ball hawk to create those turnovers, get those interceptions. And that's what I think this New England Patriots team is kind of looking for is a ball hawk type corner. And Marcus Peters could be that potential fit for this team. More on Peters in a second before we do. Folks, you got to subscribe to the channel. Look, here's the deal. We're counting down to the draft, and we want to do more Patriots coverage, but we need your help. We need you to subscribe. That way we can grow this channel, and we can make longer videos, and we can dedicate more resources to talking about your team. So subscribe today. Turn on notifications. doesn't cost you a thing. It's free. That's the best part about it all. Subscribe now. At least just do it for me anyway, okay? Subscribe now. You'll be glad you did. YouTube.com slash Patriots today for the latest Patriots news and rumors all offseason long. Now, think about this, okay? I know what a lot of you may be thinking. Well, Marcus Peters, he's a big name. What does that mean? Well, at this point in free agency, with the way things have gone, with the market just not looking too great for Marcus Peters, quite frankly, um, I don't think he's going to cost that much. I think that Marcus Peters at this juncture in his career is probably going to be cheap for whoever he signs with. I'd also watch out for Rock Yassin. I know that the Patriots are looking at the draft when it comes to the corner position, and they obviously should. But I wouldn't rule out either one of these guys uh, to potentially bring in and be that number two corner for now, and then whether it's a rookie corner, whatever it may be, grooming them to eventually be the other outside corner. But to me, it makes a lot of sense either way. Here's the numbers on Peters. And last year was okay, not great. 47 tackles, two tackles for loss, six pass breakups, and one interception. 2021, he obviously didn't play with that torn ACL. But you don't have to go far, very far back to see how good he was. 2019 with five picks, 2020 with four picks. Marcus Peters, I think, is worth taking a shot on. Does not uh, hurt you, I think, to bring in Marcus Peters for a discounted deal like I think he'd be available for. So before we go, real quick, should the Patriots sign Marcus Peters? Weigh in on the comment section for me. Type Y for yes, N for no. What do you think? Should New England sign Marcus Peters or not? Let me know. Y for yes, N for no. Subscribe to the channel. We're talking about the New England Patriots here. Glad to do it. And I got to tell you, it is really about to ramp up a bit as we get ready for the draft. You'll want to be here and be a part of our coverage. And until next time, I'm Tyler Jones. Thanks for joining us.